if, if it doesn't, then I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with me. Hey guys. So not too long ago, we opened up a package that was sent to me from the company Playview Brands. And they sent me quite a number of puzzles. And we kind of briefly went over them during the, the one of the last puzzle haul puzzle stash videos. But today I figured, why not try these out since some of you were already telling me really good things about them. Now Playview Brands is a company that represents a number of puzzle brands. And one of the brands that they carry is KI Puzzles. From that particular brand, they sent me the four, I can't count, four puzzles. The first one here is one of their 10 minute puzzles and it's 100 pieces. And the box itself doesn't give me any other information aside from that. And it's a really simple image. You know, you have some baby chicks learning how to swim, you know, because that always happens. The second puzzle set that they sent me is called Amalfi Sunset. It is 300 pieces and it's 21 by 21 inches when it's completed. This is from the Reed James collection. And it also says on the front here that these are large pieces. So I'm really curious to see and compare really how much bigger these are compared to the other puzzle sets that they carry. And again, another beautiful, vibrant image here. The colors are fantastic. This is definitely a place I would vacation to. Then the next puzzle set we have here is called Ben's Confectionery. The artist is Rosalind Solomon. It is 550 pieces and it's 24 by 18 inches when it's completed. But this image, you know I'm crazy about it. Because what is better than going to visit a bakery or a confectionery? I think they're the same. I should know that. But look, here I am with my daughter shopping for some delicious pastries. This is making me hungry, actually. I love the color tones in this image. It just seems very warm. The only thing that seems cold and lifeless in this image is that child or that doll sat on the mother or the person's lap. I don't know if this thing is alive or she just doesn't look very well. And then the last one that was sent to me is called Midnight in San Francisco. It is from their Cities at Midnight collection. The artist is Madalena Tonturinu. I hope I said that right. It is 1,000 pieces and it's 27 by 20 inches when it's completed. And as I think I said in my last video, I mean, I could see myself living in one of these houses. The yellow one was my house because there's that pie in the window and I, I love to bake. But I kind of feel like I want to visit the pink house next door because there's just a basket of baguettes on the steps and I, I feel like I need to grab one. I don't know. I'm actually really hungry right now. But overall, the colors are just absolutely fantastic. Now, aside from the 10 minute puzzle, the three main sets that I have here do state that they are made out of high quality puzzle board. They have precision cut for a perfect fit and they all do include a poster in them, which is fantastic because I love them. But the Cities in Midnight collection does also state that it has high quality printing using plant-based inks to enhance color and image quality. So that's interesting. I'm curious to see how this compares with the other two sets here. But anyways, as of this very moment, I am not actually sure if I'm gonna be able to get through all four of these puzzles in this single video. I'd like to, that's the aim, but we shall see, right? You know, I'm pretty sure the 10 minute puzzle will only take me 10 minutes. If, if it doesn't, then I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with me. But in terms of like the other puzzle sets, the 300 count, I don't feel will take me very long because this, this does have larger pieces and it's only 300 pieces. I guess my biggest concern here is like the 1000 piece and the 550 piece. I wonder if there's gonna be one in particular in terms of you know style and piece count and quality that I'm gonna like more than the other, I don't know. But you know what guys, we're, we're never gonna find out what I think to any of these if I don't you know shut up and start opening these boxes. So you know what, let's get busy. All right, so let's get to opening these boxes. Let's open the small 10 minute puzzle first and see what those pieces look like. All right, now I'm not gonna pour this all over the table because I do wanna quickly open up the other boxes and see what they're like. But here's what the 10 minute ones look like. These are quite a really big puzzle piece size. The print looks 
pretty good actually. It looks very clear. It does have a slight glossy finish to them as you can see there. And it's got a blue back to these. How is the strength on these? Not too shabby. These are pretty good in terms of the variety of piece shapes. It looks like there may only be two distinct shaped shapes here. But again, you know, it's a 10 minute puzzle. It's not supposed to, you know, be a very massive intricate set. So let's put that away. We'll probably work on this one first, but I want to quickly open up the other ones and see what they're like. All right, now let's get the 300 piece set. We're going to go in order here. Yes, I know I'm using the same darn scissors that cause accidents, but I don't have anything else at the minute. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's, that's, that's a piece. That's a piece size right there. Let's see how big this image is here. Okay, that's a pretty good size image we have. And it has a little bit about the artist on the side here. And let's check out this massive, massive puzzle here. This having a quick glimpse of the bag there doesn't seem to be any puzzle dust which is also a plus just gonna pull out some of these here and have a look see oh my goodness look at these wow this is too big for my hand i got little hands i don't know i kind of feel like these have more gloss than the smaller set that we just opened up the colors are very sharp. This is a very, very good print on these. But in terms of strength, with bigger pieces, they do tend to feel a little bit more on the flimsier size. Not saying that these are very flimsy pieces, but, you know, they are much bigger. So the tabs aren't going to be as strong as they would on a smaller piece. All right, let's open up this confectionery puzzle. This, this one I'm really, really excited about mainly because it's food. Let's take a quick glimpse of this first and see how big this image is. Oh wow, nice size reference image there. And again, we have a little bit of info on the artist. And let's check out these pieces real quick. Again, not too much dust in the bag, which is fantastic. Oh wow, look at the detail on that. Check that print out. That looks great. Definitely not blurry, it's, it's very clear. And this is a great piece size as well. Quite glossy, as you can see there, but this looks fantastic. Look, that's a cupcake. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I haven't had dinner yet, guys. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm starving. But anyways, this print is fantastic. I really love, look at that. Oh my gosh. And in terms of strength, this is not bad. This is pretty darn good. I'm not putting all my beastly force on it because you know, you shouldn't do that, but if you were, you know, try to give it a little tug here and there, even the tabs don't feel that bad. But let's move on to the next one. All right. Again, we have ourselves the reference image here. Very, very nice. Put that on the side for a minute and let's quickly open this up because I really can't wait to get started on these puzzles. So let's see what we have here. Wow, look at how vibrant that is. Look at that print. Again, you could see the gloss on that. They're, they're pretty high on the gloss level here, but I mean, come on, look at this print. Oh, this is too exciting. I'm, I, I don't know, the colors on this one is just too much. And in terms of strength, it kind of feels a bit like the other set that we just opened up, the 550 piece set, but oh my goodness. Oh, probably that happens sometimes with your puzzle pieces. If they're stuck together, you get a little bit of the cardboard backing from the other piece there, but that's all right. Just gently pull that out. I'm super looking forward to seeing how these puzzle sets hold together. That's like that's like my thing with puzzles. If, it, if little sections hold well together, I'm happy. I just hope the gloss doesn't get on my nerves too much. But you know what, guys? I am super looking forward to trying all of these sets. So you know what? Let's get started with the 10-minute puzzle first and then work our way up and do a final comparison on all these sets and see which one I like more. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's start with the 10 minute puzzle. Now I did a quickie sort by color and separated the edge pieces, but honestly, it really wasn't necessary for something like this. I just like to do that to get myself familiar with the pieces. But anyways, I pieced together the edges first and just continued on quickly from there. It wasn't challenging and it's not meant to be. 
It did take me about 15 minutes to complete, and that's probably only because I took a few extra minutes to sort it, but there's really not much to say about this. Well, that wasn't too bad. There was a few pieces that had some of this image peeling on it, but not a big deal. The hold was okay. For a little quickie puzzle, it's really not bad. All right, now on to Amalfi Sunset, the 300 count puzzle. I hope you don't hear my vacuum in the background. But anyways, again, just a quick sort here. I just did it by edges and then by color, patterns, and a pile just for the houses. Now at first, even though this was a small count set for me, I thought that the image was going to be quite challenging. And maybe it was because of all the buildings or the nature of the artwork or whatnot. I don't know. But these were the large pieces, so there was really no problem figuring out what I was looking at. I think if the pieces were a lot smaller or, you know, the typical size, then it would have been more challenging. But again, as I said, these were the large pieces and you get a pretty good variety of shapes for it being a 300 count set. There were a few pieces like the last set that were damaged during production. But aside from that, the fit was good. The sections held very well together and I love when that happens because I can move them around easily without the risk of them crumbling. I hate when that happens. And I did have some areas where there was some lifting off the table, so the fit may have been a little snug in some areas. I think that's why that can happen. But overall, I was happy with this set. It took me about an hour and a half to complete and it was in one sitting. So that was some good quick fun whilst I was home alone for once. Anyways, on to the next set. Yep, we're just pushing through here. Ben's Confectionery, the 550 count set. Back to our basic piece size, and I spent a little bit more time on this sort. All right, real quick, we have edge pieces here. These I put in pieces that had to do with any of the walls, like the wallpaper. We have some wood pieces in here. Got a few pieces from the tiled flooring. This is more wood paneling for the bakery counter. We have food, the tablecloths, and some of the chair pieces in here. We have people, and then just a bunch of yellow, probably for the bakery window. And what do you know? I finally got every single edge piece in the sorting tray. That like never happens, but anyways, I was so excited about this image. And I was getting through it very quickly in the beginning. Once again, I was dealing with the puzzle with a good fit and a great hold. I love that stuff. The whole experience is just so much more enjoyable when your puzzle isn't falling apart on you as you piece it together. It didn't hold up to breaking into sections to save it, but it did stand up very well to the pickup challenge, so that was good enough for me. Some parts of this image were a little challenging to figure out, like the tablecloths, but other than that, I was having so much fun with this puzzle that I was beasting through it. Until, as some of you may know from following my updates on Discord, I got pretty darn sick. It was bad. To a point where I couldn't bear to sit on the floor to puzzle for more than 5 minutes because my body was in a lot of pain. I couldn't even bear to sit on my computer chair for more than 10 minutes to edit my videos, so I was completely stalled with everything. I still have some lingering things going on right now, but I'm pushing through because I got a lot to catch up on. In the end, this puzzle took me about 3 hours to complete. This was some more good quick fun, even when I was feeling like crap. Finally, on to the last one, Midnight in San Francisco, the 1000 count set. Now this next clip is short and sweet because I can barely talk. Edge pieces, kind of like the middle bottom bit here. Then this next area up here is this tray. We have the houses, we have the buildings above the houses. This is, I have no clue. We have water, the bridge, and then up here the skyline and the sky is this last tray here. <music> I feel like this is taking me longer than it should or than it usually would. I don't know, maybe I'm just dealing with some brain fog. I'm feeling a bit fried in the head, but you know, we're getting through it slowly but surely. I'm really enjoying the process. It is a lot of fun and it's good to be able to finally sit down for an extended period of time and puzzle. I must say, I absolutely can't get over the quality of the image print on these pieces. I just, I just really love the pieces in general. 
But as all the pieces start coming together, I mean, just look how bright this looks. This is gorgeous. But one thing I've just realized, I've been working on this puzzle horizontally on my table when I really should be working on it, you know, vertically because it's 27 inches um, from top to bottom and my table's only 25 inches top to bottom. So I'm gonna try to flip this over this way, you know, turn it the other way so that we can fit it on the table. All right, let's see if I can move this successfully. And I wasn't surprised really, because just like all the other sets, this one had a great fit and hold. Well, maybe I was a little surprised because I know there are other brands out there where the quality and overall experience can vary within their range of piece count sets, if that makes any sense, I don't know. But yeah, this, this was another very interesting set to work on. I seriously thought that this bridge was gonna take me forever to complete because of all the lines, but surprisingly, I got through it pretty quick. And it was a lot of fun at the same time, so not too bad. What I basically did was line up the pieces um, straight so that I knew pretty much how they would end up on the puzzle, and then started to follow along this bottom part of the bridge here, and then started working my way up. It was pretty easy. God, I love the color of this. But as you can see, we're almost done, so let's get this finished. It didn't take me long to fill in the sky and finish off with the edge pieces, which was different for me. I usually do start my puzzles with the edge pieces, but these were mostly white, and I figured in the beginning that it'd be easiest to just end with them. And I was right. But anyways, this puzzle took me about six and a half hours to complete. This set was fun, and it was beautiful. So what are my overall thoughts to KI puzzles? All right, so let's do a quick comparison of all the sets. The piece size from all these sets was fantastic. They were very easy to work with. And yeah, you had the 300 count being the really, really large pieces. But as you moved towards the 550 count sets and the 1000 piece sets, even those were a pretty good size. I mean, even the 100 count 10 minute set was a good size. And what I liked as well was that some of these boxes did have a picture on it with the actual piece size. So it's good if you're, you know, shopping for a puzzle, you want to kind of get an idea of what piece size you're working with. The smallest piece from all the sets was the 1000 count. And even that wasn't that small. It was a very decent size. You can see a lot of detail within it. They were easy to hold. Overall, the pieces were pretty sturdy. The print quality was amazing. Yeah, there were a few pieces in a couple of the sets that did have some damage to them, but it was only like two or three pieces, nothing major. The print itself was very clear the colors i couldn't believe the colors especially for the 1000 count set those colors just popped the gloss level was fine it was there but it wasn't enough to like make me go crazy and to be honest i kind of feel like it enhanced the colors of the pieces even more and another great thing as well is that you have a pretty good variety of piece shapes within all of these sets of course, the 100 count set only had like two different piece shapes, but when you moved on to the 300, 550, and the 1000 count, I mean, you got about five or six different shapes in varying forms. And it really does make the whole experience a lot more fun. I mean, at least for me, I'm the type of person who enjoys a pretty good variety of piece shapes because after a while, if you're looking at the two same shapes over and over again, it gets kind of boring. But anyways. I want to talk about what really got me with all these sets and that was the overall fit and hold. Now as I said before, one of my biggest pet peeves with puzzling is when you know you're putting the pieces together and it just starts to crumble in front of you. I, 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 that stuff drives me nuts and there is nothing I appreciate more when it comes to puzzling than a puzzle where you know you're putting little sections together on different parts of your table and you know you want to pick them up and move them over to where they belong and they stay in one piece it doesn't fall apart that is what sent me over the edge 
Now, I was not able to save any of these sets the way I like to after I've completed them, but they did stand up to the pickup test. But you know what? That's okay. I'm much rather that my puzzle doesn't crumble on me whilst I'm putting it together than, you know, being able to save it the way I like to, which to be honest is not really necessary anyways. To be quite frank, I don't know why I do it sometimes, maybe just so that one day I could put it together on my table in two seconds and, and stare at it. But other than that, it's not that important to me. I really do just care more about it not falling apart on me whilst I'm trying to put it together. And I'm sure you can agree with me on that too. I have to say, out of all the sets that I tried here, my absolute favorite, I think, has to be Cities in Midnight. It had to have been all the colors. The colors were just so vibrant. It was just beautiful. And the fact that it was just an overall amazing experience you know just to piece it together it, it was just fantastic it ticked all my boxes now i tried to do some research online to see kind of what the price range was and from what i saw the average tends to fall between eight and fifteen dollars depending on the piece count and the collection you're getting i think i saw the cities in midnight collection to be around the 13 to 14 dollar range which to be honest Considering all the positives that I found with these, I think it's totally worth it. I mean, to me, that doesn't seem very expensive considering what you're getting with this. You're getting a great piece size. You're getting a great variety of piece shapes. You get a poster. And of course, my favorite thing, the fact that it doesn't crumble on you is just fantastic. I mean, now that I think about it a little bit more, I almost feel like I want to say that this might be one of my top favorite brands. I dare say, I might even think I like it better than Buffalo. Is that too much? I don't know. That's a pretty bold statement to make. But you know what? I'd be curious to hear what you guys have to say about this. So hit that like button if you are a fan of KI Puzzles. And if you've tried any of their sets, please let me know down below, what have your experiences been like? Because, I mean, I'm just starting to wonder now, am, am I the only one who feels this good about the brand or am I, am I crazy? Was I that badly ill that I forgot all about Buffalo's quality and, and greatness? But anyways, as I briefly mentioned before, I am a, I am quite behind schedule in terms of filming, editing, and videos in general, you know, because I got sick and all, but I'm doing much better now. So right now is just a case of me trying to catch up with everything and not just with the videos and the channel. I mean, everyday things as well. The house is kind of falling apart. And not to mention, you know, the holidays are here. So, you know, there's that nightmare as well. But I'm gonna do my absolute best to catch up with everything so that I can have a video out every week this month. But if not, it is what it is. What I will do is I will make sure to keep you guys posted either way. So be on the lookout in the YouTube community post page or on my Discord for any updates. And if you're not already part of my Discord, I'm gonna leave a link to that video down below so that you can see what that's all about. But anyways, thank you all so much for all the well wishes whilst I was unwell. I very much appreciate it. And I hope you've all been doing well. Thank you for all your support and I will see you in the next one.